I thought we uh, had some young guys get in there and really compete in some tough situations. Ray and Norfolk uh, came in there and competed very well. Um, I thought he, he was the guy that really jumped out the most um, in the live situations. We put him in there with the first group and to, to let him get there and handle himself like that. I thought Drake Jackson did a good job. And uh, Britton Allen, uh, you know, who we truly transitioned from corner to safety is getting better every day that we're out here. He just, you know, he's frustrated at times just because he's not sure we're going to line up, but the more reps he gets, the more comfortable he's going to be. And to give us flexibility to be able to play all three positions in the secondary is important for a young guy. In the scrimmage, will he play safety? Or? He'll play predominantly safety, I believe, right now. Yeah, yeah we'll have a personnel meeting tomorrow and, and uh, talk through that, but I see him predominantly being a safety. What do you want to see in that scrimmage uh, tomorrow or Saturday? Tomorrow? Well, I, I, again, I think it's we're you know building on playing with good technique at all three levels, and and um, that's going to be important. We're really going to grade hard on that, and seeing overall communication. Um, I think the communication has been good. Uh, we'll continue to work on that, and we'll see how the guys operate with all the coaches off the field, and let them go out there and, and play. Where are you guys at with your run defense? How do you feel about it? feel really good where we're at right now. I think uh, particularly up front, we're doing a really good job of, of uh, moving our feet on contact, playing with good gap integrity, and, and the linebackers within the di different defenses we have are doing a nice job of fitting the run and with, playing a lot with a lot of physicality. Coming out of last year, what did you feel were the biggest needs for that run defense to, to be shown up? Well, I think the biggest thing is, is we needed to play together more consistently. and. Uh, in order to start doing that, you got to be able to play with good technique on all three levels so people can play with good gap integrity. And I think we've improved in those areas. You moved a lot of guys around. What have you tried to find from the guys that have moved to different spots? Well, I, I think it's a different numbers group in terms of now you're talking about going into your fourth year and a, a, a recruiting cycle of guys that are going to be able to contribute. So, um, you know, just looking at different guys at three technique, looking at different guys at, at Will Linebacker looking at different guys uh, between strong safety and free safety and then different guys at the nickelback position, guys that can play physical against the run and be more zone oriented and then be more cover oriented when we want to get up and play man to man on people. Are you kind of just looking at this spring as a trial period just to see how guys fit in certain spots? Well, no, I have a pretty good idea um, uh, from just studying where we're at, the personnel that we have, and uh, different things uh, where they best fit based on their skill set and within our scheme. and so. I think we're pretty much set on what we're going to do. We won't deviate off of that. Has anybody kind of surprised you with those move spots that has kind of stood out? Um, you know, Kanai's done a nice job. EA's done a nice job moving to the wheel linebacker position where he played in the Notre Dame game. Um, um, you know, Jordan Alcefa moving from outside to inside backer, but he's played both. He's doing a real nice job for us. John Houston moving from Will to middle linebacker, playing both positions inside. Um, on, on the edge, I would say, um, you know, J2 Philly has been very impressive playing mostly a three technique. It was tough for the team to generate turnovers last year. Has that been an area of focus this year? Yeah, we, you know, we coach it a lot. Uh, we've done it everywhere I've been. You talk a lot about it. I've had some defenses that have had a lot of, a lot, a lot of turnovers, and I, in my opinion, uh, they come in bunches at times. And um, I think a lot of it has to do with just getting people to the football and getting hats on the ball. And those turnovers will, be, will come the more disruptive that you are. Yeah. But we're certainly working on trying to improve that. Jordan McDonald, the guy you had to count on last, at the end of last season and this spring, how would you characterize the effort he's kind of given you guys since he joined? Yeah, yeah he's unbelievable. He, um, you know, from coming here as a walk on and, and really not knowing uh, if he'd ever have an opportunity to play here to, to suddenly getting on the travel squad last year. and. You know, I remember it, it, Utah turning around and Marvell's holding his shoulder, and it's like, well, who's next? And there's Jordan standing there, and he'd been up with our, with the, with the full team about a week. So um, he's a very diligent worker. You know, he got in the Notre Dame game and played really well under turf, tough circumstance, and so now it's his second year in the system uh, from a coverage standpoint, and um, he, he's doing a really good job for us. He's a he's a guy that, that I would have no problem playing in games. Do you feel like this could be or should be your best defensive line that you've had since you've been back? The way they're practicing um, right now, I like what I see. Um, you know, you talk about the defensive line players that we've had. Uh, you know, Stevie went to the NFL. Uh, Rasheem Green went to the NFL. Uh, Chenna, who played basically defensive end for us, went to the NFL. So that, that's 
pretty tough comparison, but I like the group that we have. I think uh, they're making a lot of improvements from the details within the position. Uh, has really improved. And their hand placement, their foot, foot quickness, and their ability to get off blocks when they do strike and move their feet has been impressive out here so far. I kind of wondered if maybe the group echo hole was maybe a little bit deeper than the what? I thought maybe the group echo hole might be a little bit deeper than you had. Yeah, they're yeah they they are they're a little bit deeper. I think um, you know we have four guys that we feel really comfortable with uh, that will have an opportunity to play for us, and that number will continue to grow. Thank you. All right.